satanic versus incident that no Muslim can deny. No Islamic scholar can deny. This is a historical event and as we know Muhammad delivered the satanic verses to the pagan Quraysh, the pagan inhabitants of Mecca. And they were really pleased with what Muhammad delivered to them because Muhammad was saying nice positive things about their pagan idols Allah al Uzza wal Manat so Muhammad didn't know without being aware Satan casting words of himself on the tongue of Muhammad the Prophet of Islam so Satan was controlling Muhammad doing mind control and he put the satanic verses on his tongue and Muhammad delivered these satanic verses to the pagan Quraysh and even the Muslims who were there together with the pagans together with Muhammad the Prophet of Islam they all bowed down and prostrated to the three bird idols of Mecca the high cranes the flying cranes of the pagan Quraysh of Mecca if we go to chapter 22 Surah Al-Hajj Ayah 52 it says فَيُنْسِخَ اللَّهِ مَا يُلْقِي الشَّيْطَانِ Satan in Islam is all powerful. He can play with the words of Allah. So Allah then needs to abrogate them later. So Shaitan was doing mind control of Muhammad, giving him the satanic verses, putting the satanic verses inside the mouth of Muhammad, casting satanic verses on the tongue of the Prophet of Islam. So then later Muhammad can give the satanic verses to the pagan Quraysh, the pagan Meccans. Muhammad delivered the satanic verses to the pagans of Mecca and this is a historical fact. No Muslim can deny this. If you are going to call yourself a Muslim, you need to accept what the Quran says. And let us go to the tafsir so we can understand what happened in this historical fact in Islam. The satanic versus incident. So let me read for you the Arabic tafsir for chapter 22, ayah 52. Surah Al Hajj, ayah 52. Qara'a al Nabi fi Surah Al Najm bi majlisin min Quraysh. Afra'aytum al Lata wal Uzza wa Manat al Thalitha al Ukhra. ألقى الشيطان على لسانه من غير علمه تلك الغرانيق العلا إن شفاعتهن لترتجى Let us go to an official Islamic English translation for the tafsir for the same chapter ayat 2252 So I went to the English translation for the tafsir guys and let me show you from their most trusted sources for example Tafsir Jalalain on this website this is not my website guys this is the website of the royal kingdom of Jordan so the king of Jordan owns this website it's a royal kingdom website if we read from Tafsir Jalalain for chapter 22 Surah Al Hajj Ayah 52 it says and we did not send before you any messenger Rasul this is a prophet who has been commanded to deliver a message or prophet Nabi one who has not been commanded to deliver anything but that when he recited the scripture Satan cast into his recitation what is not from the Quran did you see that guy so Satan playing with Muhammad playing with the Quran of Allah doing mind control of Muhammad and putting satanic verses on the tongue of Muhammad who he delivered to the pagan Quraysh the pagan Meccans but what those to whom he the prophet had been sent would find pleasing the prophets had during an assembly of the men of Quraysh after reciting the following verses from Surah Al Najm have you considered Allah and Uzza and Mana the third one chapter 53 ayah 19 and 20 added as a result of Satan casting them onto his tongue so on the tongue of who 
on the throne of Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, without the Prophet, without his the Prophet being aware of it. So did you catch it? So Muhammad did not know that Satan was playing with him, and he put on the tongue of the Prophet of Islam the satanic verses without Muhammad knowing. Of it, the following words. These are the satanic verses, guys. This part that I will highlight for you. Those are the high flying cranes, Al Garani Ula, and indeed their intercession is to be hoped for. Tilk Al Garani Ula, Inna Shafa'atahunna La Turtaja. Remember, guys? So here, Muhammad was giving the satanic verses to the pagans. And the Quraysh were thereby delighted. They were very pleased that Muhammad gave them the satanic verses. Then Jibreel later came and informed the Prophet. So Jibreel said to Muhammad, Spank, spank Muhammad, what have you done? And he corrected Muhammad's mistake that, uh, that Satan himself had given to Muhammad on his thumb. So as you see, Satan was doing mind control on the Prophet of Islam. And Muhammad became very sad. So as you see, then Allah abrogates what or nullifies what Satan had cast inside the Quran. So as you see how powerful Satan is, he did mind control on Muhammad. He was controlling Muhammad and he was putting satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad. If we go to Azbab al Nuzul by Al Wahidi, another tafsir for the same chapter, same ayah, we can read that again. The devil put on the tongue of Muhammad. These are the mighty cranes, Al Gharani Qal Ula. Inna Shafa'atahunna la Turtaja. Did you catch it, guys? Again. So then, this tafsir makes it even more worse. The Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, carried on reciting until the end of the surah and then prostrated. So Muhammad bowed down to the idols of Mecca. Yes, you heard it correctly. Muhammad bowed down and prostrated to the idols. All the Muslims followed and prostrated, and all the pagan idolaters who were present prostrated too. Did you see that? So Muhammad bowed down and prostrated to the pagan idols of Mecca. So Muhammad committed shirk, the Muslims committed shirk, and so did the pagans, the pagan Quraysh of Mecca. They all committed shirk all together. So as you see guys, we did not lie to you. This is from their most trusted sources. The tafsir for the Quran. You can find it all over. You can find it in many tafsirs. Tabari, Al Tabari uh, also mentioned this. It's mentioned everywhere. No Muslim can deny this. Even the most respectful scholars of Islam cannot deny this. This is a historical fact. The satanic verses are a historical fact in Islam. So Muslims, learn about Islam. Leave this satanic cult. If Satan can control Muhammad, how do you know that he's not controlling you right now as a Muslim? So I ask you to leave this dark satanic cult and come back to Jesus. Indeed, Christ has risen. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Thank you guys for watching. Please share this video on social media and God bless.